Hi everyone, Habibi. Okay, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to make a tutorial how to run HTML5 web application in Unity. So, for example, we are going to make a Unity Android game, and inside that Unity application, we are running a web web page and this web page can be online or offline okay i'm i don't know how and i will try to use this github uh, this package from github there is a user wally walid abazo he has something to share about how to run the web application in unity and he has this package he uploaded five years ago and i don't know will it work on our unity new version of unity M mine is 2021 and let's try here i have my unity project open and it is in android build uh, yeah in android uh what do you say platform <laughs> it is in android platform and i will try to download this package from walida bazu code download zip we'll place it in desktop here i download it and i will extract the zip file then I will import it to Unity. Let's see. Is there any problem with this package uploaded five years ago? Import. Okay, we got some errors here. GUI text is obsolete. All right. Uh, only one error here let's fix it GUI text so here I'm going to replace this GUI text with text and we need to import we need to use unity engine.ui of course because we are using text it is part of unity ui let's go back maybe there will be another error okay there is no error at all on except that one and this is the sample scene let's open it hmm? oh the sample scene is the sample scene yeah this is the example scene and this scene has some error i don't know it is main camera do not use read object threaded on scene objects i don't know what does it mean sample web view simple html status missing text okay and this is object this simple web view needs a text element text component maybe i will create a ui canvas and inside this canvas i will add a text maybe yeah text legacy text and i will set the reference of this i drag and drop this text here I don't know why this, that error message is 
keep appearing and okay in the this sample web view object it has sample html url and here is a streaming asset folder let me check okay we have sample.html file here and I'm going to try to I'm going to try to export this unity project I need to build the APK and run it on my Android device to see whether the web view is working or not because we cannot run it here in unity editor the unity editor doesn't have web view android has web view or ios has web view let's try to run it on android device Alright guys, I will go to the build setting, add the scene to the build setting and then I will try to export. I will build it. Publish publishing settings. second there is plugins folder here web view separated to bundle web view to bundle whatever guys I will try to build it here in this folder I name it release dot apk save it and I will pause the recording and get back to you later guys I got this problem gradle error min SDK in manifest android manifest.xml file and this was in the end you have to remove it okay there is a problem with the android manifest hmm, what can I do with it should remove it should I remove it plugin scenes hang on maybe we need to remove this or uncheck this custom main manifest checkbox let me check here android android manifest XML hmm. Let me edit it Min SDK version hmm. Let me uncheck this checkbox and I will try to build it again no build only okay I will pause the recording and I will let you know when it's done and then I got this error again another error could not delete all blah 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 in unity library okay uh, what I'm going to do is to delete this library folder shift delete it and I will try to build 
rebuild it again hang on a second okay it's now deleted skip I don't know uh, some files cannot be deleted maybe I should close the unity I will close the unity project I will close the unity editor and reopen it I will close it and then delete the library folder entirely then reopen the unity again hang on this is still uh, resolving packages Alright guys, I'm closing the project, the unit editor, and here I will delete this library folder entirely, and then 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 I will reopen the Unity. Okay, it is deleted. I will reopen the unit editor. I will reopen my project. Alright, I need to wait for a minute until the project is loaded oh my god it takes a long time to load the project the project is still empty okay guys i will try to rebuild the apk file build and release save okay and i will try to wait i will wait for it and uh, I pause the recording and continue it later. Looks like everything is fine, but I'm not sure. Alright, guys, the building process uh, is completed, and here we have the release.apk file. I will send it to my phone and install it. Later, I will show it to you when the installation is done. Okay, I will pause the video. And here is the APK file. I will install it. Yeah. In Asam. Yeah. This is my first time, guys. I'm not sure. Is everything will be working fine or not? Okay, the installation is done, and let's open it. Let's see. Made with Unity, and here is the web browser. But nothing is happening. It is just blank page. This empty page. Okay, what is wrong? I'm not sure. I will check again on my computer. The HTML file may be is not loaded correctly. Yeah? I'm not sure. I'm gonna uh, check. I will check the web files here in streaming assets. And this is sample the uh, sample.html file. It has an image, JavaScript file, and I will try to open it with my Google Chrome. Hmm. HTML file is fine, but it is not loaded in in the app. Maybe I will try to run the app here in Unity Editor to 
to check what is wrong with the yeah webview is not supported on this platform it only runs it can only runs in android not in unity editor uh, i think i'm going to test this web view web view to open a website online website offline web file is not working let's try the online one i replace the url parameter with this web address and rebuild it this one is new version we we'll try to install it okay the installation is done i will run the app it is working guys it's working if we load the actual online website but it doesn't work with local web web file i don't know how to load the local web file maybe i will try to check again the source code maybe i can make some changes to make it able to load the local HTML file if you see the back button here is not working and yeah you know the limitation alright guys maybe the conclusion is this uh, plugin is working if we try to open a website online website but it doesn't run the local HTML file I will try to make some changes in the source code and if I'm able to make it working to load local HTML files I will let you know that's all for this video thank you for watching bye, -bye.